In aerobic metabolism, the first step is glycolysis. Glucose moves into the cell using insulin to allow it to move across the cell membrane. And then in glycolysis, the glucose molecule will break into two parts. You can almost imagine them as then half of the hexagon there. And each of those molecules is now called a pyruvate molecule. The pyruvate molecule will move inside the cell. I'm sorry, it doesn't move inside the cell. The pyruvate molecule will move inside the mitochondria. And then along with oxygen, which also enters the mitochondria, we can further break down the pyruvate molecule. Inside the mitochondria, we have oxidation, which further breaks down the pyruvate. It then goes through the citric acid cycle. And then it goes through something called the electron transport chain. And at the end of this, we have carbon dioxide, water, and 36 units of adenosine triphosphate. If we don't have oxygen present, so if we get rid of that oxygen, then uh, Oxidation in the citric acid cycle and electron transport chain does not happen. Instead, we have another pathway, and this goes through fermentation. And at the end of that, we have lactic acid. So we got the C in there. Acid. And 2 ATP. Now remember, if we do not have oxygen, it is called anaerobic metabolism.